Welcome to a journey toward healthier living. My name is Dr. Mona, and as a doctor, I've always known that what we eat plays a huge role in our overall well-being, but it wasn't until I personally transitioned to a plant-based diet that I fully grasped the power of food. This change didn't just improve my health, it transformed how I approach nutrition and lifestyle choices for myself and my patients. Today, I'm here to share my story and guide you through the benefits of plant-based eating, how you can smoothly transition into it, and some practical tips to make the journey enjoyable and sustainable. So, what exactly is a plant-based diet? It's simple, a diet that focuses primarily on foods from plants. This includes fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, and legumes. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to eliminate animal products entirely, although many do. Instead, it's about making plant foods the foundation of your meals. When I first considered this change, I was a bit overwhelmed by the idea of cutting out all animal products, but I quickly learned that it doesn't have to be all or nothing. Some people choose to become vegan, avoiding all animal products, while others might start by reducing meat consumption gradually. Let me tell you about one of my patients, Anne, who came to me struggling with high cholesterol. We discussed the potential benefits of a plant-based diet, and she decided to give it a try. Within just a few months of cutting back on animal products and adding more plants to her meals, her cholesterol levels dropped dramatically, and she felt better than ever. Anne's story is just one example of how a plant-based diet can have significant effects on heart health. By reducing the amount of saturated fat, which is primarily found in animal products, plant-based eaters often see improvements in their cardiovascular health, lowering their risk of heart disease. In my own experience, I noticed a boost in energy. Before switching to plant-based meals, I often felt sluggish, especially after heavy meals. Once I transitioned, I realized that plant-based foods are generally less calorie-dense but more nutrient-packed, meaning I could eat satisfying portions without feeling weighed down. I also found that my digestion improved, which made me feel lighter and more energetic throughout the day. I'll be honest, the switch wasn't without its challenges. But I've learned that the benefits far outweigh any initial hurdles. Plant-based diets have been shown to help with weight management, reduce the risk of chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes and certain cancers, and even improve mental clarity. One of my friends, Jacob, who has a family history of diabetes, decided to make the switch to plant-based eating after hearing about these benefits. Over time, his blood sugar levels stabilized, and he felt more in control of his health. If you're thinking about transitioning to a plant-based diet, don't feel like you have to do it all at once. When I first started, I simply added a meatless Monday to my week. That's one day where I committed to eating plant-based meals. From there, I expanded to two or three days and eventually made it my primary way of eating. A tip that worked well for me was focusing on what I was adding to my diet rather than what I was taking away. I discovered new foods like quinoa and lentils that I had never cooked with before. Now, they're staples in my kitchen. One of the common concerns people have is, Will I get enough protein? This is a question I get from patients all the time. And the answer is yes, plants have plenty of protein. When I first transitioned, I made sure to incorporate plant-based protein sources like beans, lentils, tofu, and quinoa. I found that I was not only getting enough protein, but feeling stronger than before. It's all about balance. In fact, my breakfast often consists of a protein-packed smoothie with almond milk, spinach, chia seeds, and a banana. It's delicious, quick, and keeps me full for hours. Another nutrient to keep in mind is iron. Many people associate iron with red meat, but there are plenty of plant-based sources too. Dark leafy greens like spinach, legumes, and fortified cereals are excellent sources of iron. One thing I learned was to pair these iron-rich foods with a vitamin C source, like citrus fruits or bell peppers, to boost absorption. This small adjustment made a big difference for me. Of course, there are two nutrients that are a bit harder to come by in a plant-based diet, vitamin B12 and omega-3 fatty acids. For these, I personally take a B12 supplement and make sure to include foods like flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts in my meals for omega-3s. These little tweaks ensure I'm getting everything I need to feel my best. Speaking of feeling my best, one of the things I enjoyed most about transitioning to a plant-based diet was exploring new recipes and meal ideas. It was like rediscovering food all over again. 
I remember whipping up a hearty lentil stew one cold winter evening. It was so flavorful and filling that even my kids, who were skeptical at first, asked for seconds. Since then, plant-based eating has become a family affair. If you're worried about how your family might react, I recommend starting with familiar dishes. For example, spaghetti with lentil, meatballs, or tacos with black beans are always hits in my household. Meal planning is also key to making this lifestyle work, especially if you have a busy schedule. One thing that helped me was prepping a week's worth of meals on Sundays. I would chop vegetables, cook grains like quinoa or brown rice, and prepare some proteins like roasted chickpeas or baked tofu. That way, during the week, I could easily throw together a quick and nutritious meal without much effort. Some of my favorite go-to meals are veggie stir fries with tofu, quinoa salads with chickpeas and avocado, or even a simple peanut butter and banana sandwich on whole grain bread for breakfast. One aspect of plant-based eating that I find incredibly rewarding is its impact beyond just personal health. As I learned more about the environmental benefits of plant-based diets, I became even more committed. Producing plant foods generally uses fewer resources, like water and land, and results in lower greenhouse gas emissions compared to animal agriculture. Knowing that my diet is not only good for me, but also for the planet gives me a deeper sense of purpose and responsibility. Ethical considerations also play a role for many people who choose plant-based diets. I've had patients who were initially drawn to the idea for health reasons, but later discovered that avoiding animal products aligned with their values regarding animal welfare. One of my patients, Emily, told me that after making the switch, she felt a greater sense of harmony in her life, knowing that her dietary choices reflected her compassion for animals. As you explore the benefits of a plant-based diet, remember that it's not about being perfect. It's about making choices that support your health and align with your values. Whether you choose to go fully plant-based or simply reduce your intake of animal products, each step you take can have a positive impact. In closing, I wanna remind you that this journey is uniquely yours. It's not just about changing what you eat. It's about transforming your relationship with food, your health, and the world around you. The benefits are real and they're within your reach. Take it one meal at a time, listen to your body, and enjoy the process. I'm here to tell you that a plant-based diet can be one of the best decisions you make for your health, your energy, and your life. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I wish you all the best as you discover the power of plant-based living.